nothing unusual here either. Man, it's been a while since I last came across a checkpoint. If this is supposed to be orienteering, couldn't they have given us a map or something? It'd make things a whole lot smoother. Man, I'm really in deep on this whole stamp rally thing, huh? I wonder if Celica has any new stamps. Hmm? What a weird building. What's that sign say? Kitchen Stadium, huh? This looks just suspicious enough to be a checkpoint. Got nothing to lose by checking it out. Oh, sorry. That place won't be open for a while. Oh, you're back. So, why won't it open? This is a battle checkpoint. Once people start fighting, this place is locked up until it's finished. And when will that be? How am I supposed to know? They just started fighting a minute ago. Sounds like I've got some time to kill. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my time here. There are other checkpoints to be found. Oh, leaving already? That's okay, I'll see you again at the next checkpoint. Now, where were we? It looks like time is running out for the Great Kitchen Stadium cook-off. Let's check in with our contestants, shall we? First off, in the blue corner, we have Noelle and her assistant, Makoto. Things seem to be going swimmingly for them. Our lead judge has tasked them with making the perfect pudding, and today they've chosen a caramel custard. Meanwhile, in the red corner, we have Chie, aided by Yukiko. They do not look too confident in their recipe. I hope confidence is all we have to worry about. Hey, Yukiko, are you sure this is how you're supposed to make caramel? I don't think it's supposed to smell like this. Don't worry. Yes, it smells a little like okonomiyaki, but it does have sugar in it, so it should be sweet by the time it's done cooking, right? If you say so, how's the pudding mixture looking? It's yellow, just like it's supposed to be. What a relief! Man, cake mixers sure are handy. It got all fluffy in a snap! And now all we've got to do is... Uh, what are we supposed to do now? Uh, toss it all in the microwave? I guess? Let's do it! Good. Sounds like they've managed to get back on track. Now, let's turn to our audience for their thoughts on the situation. Well, you two, how do you think it's going? That's a... that's a heck of a question. Hey, you! Do you have any idea what they're talking about? I can't hear what they're saying, but things aren't looking good. Eggs, milk, sugar... Those are the right ingredients, at least. But they're putting whatever's in those brown bottles labeled sauce into their caramel sauce. That can't be good. I'm guessing they thought putting caramel and sauce together would lead to the right flavor. Hey, um, Noellers, are you sure this is going to work? Sure, I'm sure. Why? I mean, you know, doesn't this look a little off? Caramel pudding is usually yellow, right? This seems a little more... green. Oh, I guess it does. This is my first time making pudding, but I guess this is what it looks like before you steam it. No, 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 it absolutely isn't. Not in the least. <laughs> Have you made pudding before, Makoto? Uh, no, but I feel like this color is kind of a warning flag that we're not even in the right ballpark. It should be fine as long as we heat it all the way through. It's not like there's anything weird inside it that could hurt us or anything. Well, there's not supposed to be, but something happened to make it look like this. I've got a bad feeling here. Gosh, Makoto, you're such a worrywart. We'll be fine. Sure, we've never made it before, but we at least know how to make it. Now we just pour the egg solution into the cup on top of the caramel. 
Once it's steamed, we'll be all done. Oh, did you get the fruit topping ready? Y yeah, right here. Think that looks okay? That's beautiful. Thanks, Makoto. I'll start steaming the pudding now. I hope this is gonna be okay. This <sighs> is absolutely not gonna be okay! Whoever eats that is going to spend the entirety of tomorrow locked in a bathroom! This is more of a science fair than a cook-off. Seriously! I'm just glad we're not doing the judging! With both teams' as puddings entering their final phases, let's check in with our panel of judges. In our first chair is our special guest judge, Lene. She joins us today through sheer happenstance. Tell us, Lene, how are you feeling now that you've seen the two teams at work? How am I feeling? Hungry. I don't know how puddings are made, but are they supposed to take this long? How much longer are you going to make me wait? Oh, that's right. You've wandered in here because you were starving. Our chefs are just finishing up now, so I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to suffer in silence for a little while longer. Ugh. I if I must. Next, we have Mai, whose hunger drove her from the audience into the judges' box. Your thoughts, please, Mai. Oh, um, right. Well, I can tell that both teams are putting a lot of effort into their flans. And I, for one, can't wait to taste the finished result. An honest and heartfelt comment from our second judge. Thank you, Mai. Finally, let's hear from S, our lead judge. S, it was your choice for our contestants to cook pudding today. What is it that truly sings to you about pudding? Pudding is very tasty. Um, is that it? Yes. Inspiring. Now it seems like both teams' puddings are nearly complete. So if we just stick this in the fridge, the pudding should chill in a couple of seconds, right? Look, Chi, this is amazing! The pudding's really firming up! Whoa, really? How cool! It's like a cooking magic trick! Does this mean we're done? I think so, or at least close enough. That's all we can ask for, really. Over in the red corner, the team of Chie and Yukiko have completed their pudding. Their pudding is simple and unadorned. Their success rides entirely upon their technique. You might want to dash those hopes now. We're not professional patissiers or anything. Don't say that, Chie. Just look how tasty it looks. I can't argue with that. Okay, judges, it's ready for tasting. Oh, I can't look! And yet I still can't look away. All we can do is pray for the judge's safety. Yeah, if they come back as ghosts, we don't want to be the ones who get haunted. And finally, a cherry on top. We're done too, system. While all eyes were on the red corner, the blue corner put the finishing touches on their dish. They decided to whip up a pudding a la mode with fresh cream and fruits. A clever chef knows how to tantalize all of the senses, and this fruit topping is a feast for the eyes. One can only imagine how good the pudding underneath must taste. Yeah. Is it just me, or does that look a little... Uh... They've definitely taken some poetic license with the definition of pudding. Can we get that license revoked? It's like something out of a nightmare! It was looking almost edible a minute ago, too. What happened? And how can it be black and weirdly rainbowy at the same time? The same way the puddles at a gas station can. This is a hundred percent not good! Both teams have lined up in front of the judges, ready to present their creations. We'll begin with Chie and Yukiko's pudding as they finished first. Finally. And what an aromatic scent. Hmm. 
Judge S is suddenly shaking her head from side to side. What could this mean? Before we find out, the judges will have to give their opinions in order. Lene, what did you think? It's not inedible. I'm not sure if this is what a pudding is supposed to taste like, but... Once I got used to the flavor, I found it almost addictive. She can't be serious. Did the girls make something decent for once? It didn't look as dire as Yukiko's usual mystery food. So, maybe their cooking has improved a little? Somehow I doubt that, dude. I just hope the other judges are as forgiving. Next up, Judge Mai. Did you find the pudding to be to your liking? Um... I'm sorry, I'm not really sure. The flavor's really complicated, so... I'm a little stumped. The thing is, my sense of taste is a little unique, so I'm not sure if my input would really help here. I see. Truth be told, it is rather concerning that we have a useless judge on our panel, but we'll leave that to the producers. And lastly, we come to our lead judge. You have the floor, S. I need to apologize. The reason I chose pudding as the dish for our cook-off was nothing more than selfish desire. My mission was to be the gatekeeper of this checkpoint. This is clearly punishment for bringing my selfish wants into the workplace. I am very sad. Clearly our lead judge is moved by the dessert in front of her. I imagine her final score will reflect that. So, it sounds like we did kinda okay, right? We probably didn't fail! Let's move on to the Blue Corners dish. Team Noel and Makoto's pudding a la mode. Dig in when ready, judges. I hope you like it! <laughs> oh, was that even pudding? I've never seen that color before. Perhaps it's a trendy new recipe? Huh. <laughs> Let's be nice and say that it is. I've never seen anything like it either. Very well. Shall we? They ate it! They, they really did! Uh, how cunning! It seems our lead judge S and our guest judge Lene have collapsed. Hello? Are you alright? Oh goodness, they're really out cold. Let me check their... Ah, uh, yes. Well, they're still breathing. That was close. It would be awfully hard to continue with the judging process if they both died. And what of our remaining judge, Mai? It's... It's so good! Excuse me? Is she joking? You really like it? Guess Mai was our ace in the hole. She's the only person in the world who could survive one of Noelle's death dinners. This pudding starts with a powerful sensation that could paralyze your whole body and follows it up with an uncanny kick that threatens to knock you unconscious. It's more than just the flavor or the fragrance of the dish. A taste like this demands a more primal appreciation from its diner. That sounds terrifying! I wouldn't want to eat that! Truly a raving review. Now with the other judges incapacitated, it falls to Mai to decide the winner. So... What'd you say? Oh, gosh! Are you sure I'm allowed to choose? Nobody else is fit to judge. All you have to do is tell us honestly which dish you thought tasted better. In that case... Hmm... 
Well, I thought that Chie's team's pudding was really cute and was probably really tasty, but... If you put both in front of me, I'd go for Noelle's pudding every time. There we have it. Our winner is Team Noelle. For real? We, we did it! Now the winning team shall receive their stuff. There's no way I can accept this! I can't believe I'm saying this, but Chie's pudding was way closer to being actual food! I mean, look at this thing! Food doesn't shine like that! Two people are on the ground unconscious! Wow, if you're really that torn up about the injustice of all this, are you volunteering to step in as a judge? You'd have to try both puddings. Mm -mm. Great, so if there are no more objections, then... Don't worry, Yosuke. The judge decided. Besides, Team Noelle's pudding was... breathtaking. In more ways than one, clearly. Chie, Yukiko, thank you. Even though it was a competition, I had a lot of fun cooking with you. I did too, and I learned so much! I guess that turned into a pretty intense battle after all. I hope we can all cook together again. Yeah, and next time we'll all be on the same team! <sighs> when we die, we die together, partner! Yeah. Thank you for joining us in the kitchen stadium. I'll see you all at the next cooking tag battle. See you next time!